Hey folks, this is the uh, tech team from iMobile Rescue, and uh, we wanted to just uh, film the iPad 4. Uh, not, a, not a full teardown, but just really just take a look at this, uh, this home flex cable that, uh, that comes with the iPad 4th generation. So, yes, on the iPad 4th generation, here's what we're looking at. This is the home button area. This is where this and the, uh, and the home button wing were. Well, the wing's still there. Um, and you know, here's the left corner of the iPad. We'll just sort of bring it up so you can see what's going on. Um, and right here, okay, right here attached to this wing is a flex cable that goes down here and attaches to the logic board somewhere you know around here on the left side of the device. Well, they probably did this because this uh, is an iPad 4th generation so it has lightning, it has a lightning connector and, uh, and, and perhaps the, the way that the wing used to interact with the connectors underneath of it to uh, press the home button uh, with the lightning connector now being there uh, wouldn't function that way so now it has to function with this um, with this wire that you see running horizontally here to the left. So here's the deal. What you have to do um, is first of all, you know, taking down the iPad fourth generation, this is a severely cracked one, um, is a lot easier in other places, particularly up here in the top right hand corner where the power flex and volume flex cable is, where normally you can cut it because it's exposed. It's not exposed here. It has this sort of metal plate over it, just like it does in the iPad uh, third generation, which is really, really awesome. Down here, of course, uh, you know you can cut the um, you can cut the Wi-Fi cable, uh, but 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 again, this didn't stick so much to the digitizer. It's like not sticking so much to the digitizer as it does on the iPad 2, um, which is a totally a mess. But still, when you go around this area, you got to be careful you don't cut it. But mainly, we're talking about this here. So this this iPad this uh, this Home Flex cable thing. So uh, it's a little ridiculous. And basically, what you have to make sure you do is here's how it goes. You, you watch how it goes and you make sure you don't cut it. Don't use an X-Acto knife, you know, anywhere near it. Don't use an X-Acto knife here. Don't use it up here. You can use the X-Acto knife down here. Make sure you heat up the entire area really, really good, but not too much, but good enough so that you can just peel the glass away and it's easy. And just go in really, really very slowly and very carefully and very deliberately and have a sharp X-Acto knife. This one just doled out, so we got to get a new one or get new blades, but have a pretty sharp blade. And just very slowly, very gently take your time in getting sort of, you know, this, 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 this little, I don't know, six centimeters, you know, this area here across of, uh, of, of glass off so that you expose this thing here, right? You, ex you, you want to you take this stuff off and expose um, uh, that flex cable. So now we're above the flex cable with the digitizer. And I'm just going to show you. Uh, how this works so that when you look at it you know that you're not cracking it. See over here in the corner here like we have this this piece of glass that needs to be lifted. Just gonna go slow and careful. Just sort of chip it away piece by piece by piece. But that needs more heat. So uh but I think we gotten most of it ready for the for um for the sort of demonstration. So I'm gonna lift it up sort of see where we're at. In fact, you probably separate this wing from the top of the digitizer. There you go. Okay, so that's the home flex wing. We're going to open up the device. Now we've removed everything. Now we're opening it up. That's it. iPad fourth generation. Crazy stuff. All right, so there it is right here. This is it. This is this home flex. And as you see, it's on the left side, right? The wire bends in here and goes into this little slot. There's a little slot where it's clearly going into, okay. And uh, and then the home f the home wing, you know, this wing sits in exactly the same spot. Just on the left side is this wire that is attached to it. So it's really easy to cut that wire. So you want to make sure that you don't cut that wire because uh, right now there's kind of a shortage on these parts, and uh, uh, you're gonna need that wire for the replacement. All right, so that's it. And that's what's happening underneath of it. It's kind of crazy. And luckily we can just keep it here and use it. You know, we'll use it for the next for the next screen replacement. You can put an iPad 3 screen, it's the exact same screen uh, on here. And now iPad 4th generation screens, which are really just iPad 3rd generation screens, uh, are coming with these flex cables, but they're impossible to find right now. They're impossible to get right now. People just aren't making them. So I would imagine they'll be available sometime in the next couple of months, but as of right now, which is... March 7th in uh, 2013, no, they're not available. So don't cut that. Don't cut this thing. Um, that's it. I just wanted to, to show you guys, to show everybody who's watching, if you're doing this repair yourself, if you're a repair shop doing it, 
Um, you know, we um, we took this apart super carefully. The, this isn't the first one, but the first iPad, fourth generation, we took it apart very, very carefully. It took us a, probably two hours to make sure we weren't cutting any ribbons or messing anything up. And, um, and luckily, we came across this. But if we, but either way, I would love to have had a video like this that would have showed me where this thing is. Okay, so that's where it is in relation to the rest of the iPad. Here's the iPad. This is the Wi-Fi antenna. Here's your home area and this flex cable goes down into that spot. So you just want to be incredibly careful in taking the glass off around that area because look, it sticks. I mean, this would have stuck to the digitizer. I just had to heat it very, very carefully knowing where it was, you know, and peel around it extremely carefully. So thanks a lot for watching. Hope that makes sense. And hey, if it's too crazy for you, I mean, we'll do it. Just send the repair our way. Uh, you can sign up for the for the uh, iPad fourth generation repair on the site and we'll send you out a shipping label and just send it to us. We'll fix it up and send it right back. Thanks for watching. See you later.